Hello everybody, I am Vasanta, Department of Computer Science, Gopal Swami P.O. College, Mysore. Today we will to start with the third session. On this session, we will to explain majorly the basic postulates of Boolean algebra. What do you mean by postulates? Postulates is nothing but the formulas, the rules we have to follow in this concept. It is nothing but the formulas which we are following in this Boolean algebra is called it as postulates of Boolean algebra. Postulates means formulas. Whereas in maths we are using a plus b whole square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab in the same way. Here also we are using some formulas that is nothing but postulates. Under that today you will study regarding the law of addition especially for zeros and ones. When we come on law of additions, there are two, two laws on this. The first one is 0 plus x is nothing but x. The first postulate especially for law of addition. It means that in between plus operator. And the second one is 1 plus x is nothing but 1. Whereas when we come on law of addition, especially properties of zeros and ones, there are two, zero plus x is nothing but x, one plus x is nothing but one. In the exam, you may going to get, explain, briefly explain the law of addition or the properties of zeros and ones. In the exam, they, if they ask, explain the properties of zeros and ones, then you have to consider addition as well as multiplication. Whereas here it is only for addition today I am going to explaining you that is 0 plus x is nothing but x and the second one is 1 plus x is nothing but 1. Now we will prove one by one. If you want to prove this first in three concepts you have to write first you have to write the circuit diagram then next you have to write the truth table for that and third you have to prove this by using perfect induction method. Three methods first you have to write the truth symbol then second one truth table and the last you have to solve that by perfect induction method. What do you mean by perfect induction method means by applying the values of x 1 times 0 as well as 1 times 1. Then you have to prove that right hand side value equals to left hand side value you have to prove that is called as perfect induction method. Now here where the expression 0 plus x is nothing but x then how to write the symbol for this one see first one here plus operator we have that's why 0 and the second one is x. In between plus means you have to write reverse C shape. Then what is the output here we will get? Output is x. This is the symbol. Then how to write the truth table? See the truth table. How many variables here we have? Only one variable. One is 0 and one more is x. That's why here 0 and here x. 0 means that output input is must and should be 0 only. If it is 1, only 1 you have to write. Then what is the x value? Only one variable that is why 0 and 1 time is 1. Then here what is the output? 0 plus x. 0 plus 0 plus operator if any one of the input is true output become true. 0 plus 0 output become 0. 0 plus 1 output become 1. It means that x value equals to x 0 plus x 0 plus x value this column value equals to x value this is the truth table and this is the symbol then how to solve this by using perfect induction method what do you mean by perfect induction method consider the equation that is what is the equation 0 plus x equals x now put x equals 0 one time and then Another time put x equals 1. Then solve the given equation. See on the place of x, one time you have to put 0 and another time you have to put for x 1. Now, what is the expression here? This is the given expression. Now apply this 0 plus 0. It means that for x you have to substitute 0 equals 0. Then 0 plus 0. In law of addition, if all the inputs are false then output become false you have to just recall the properties of law of addition there if all the inputs are uh, false then output become false if any one of the input is true then output become true here then 0 plus 0 it is 0 equals 0 right hand side value equals to left hand side value 
Now, another time we have to put x equals 1 for the same equation that 0 plus 1 equals 1. For the place of x, we have substituted 1. Now, 0 plus 1, the output become 1 equals 1. See, right hand side value equals to left hand side value. Right hand side value equals to left hand side value. In three concepts you have to write, first you have to write the symbol, true table and then you have to prove that by perfect induction method. Then what do you mean by perfect induction method? It is nothing but substituting 0 as well as 1 for the given variable and then solve that. That is nothing but perfect induction method. In the exam, they may want to ask in three method, prove that the given equation by using truth table. On that time, you have to write only the truth table. In the question, if they are given, solve the equation by using perfect induction method means you have to substitute 0 one time as well as you have to substitute 1 for the given equation and then you have to solve. That is perfect induction method. Algebraic method or expression method means you have to use all the postulates and then solve. That is nothing but algebraic method or expression method. This is law of addition for the first one that is 0 plus x equals x. Now, I am to explain the second law of addition. That is the second one is 1 plus x is nothing but 1. That is the second law of addition. Here in between plus we have, whereas in the previous case we have considered 0, but in this case we have written 1. Z already we explained for 0, now it is for 1. Now, how to write the symbol? Plus operator we have, that is why one input is 0, another input is x. Plus operator means reverse C shape and the output will get 1. This is the symbol. Now, how to write the true table? While writing the true table, only one x variable, one is x and one more is 1. That is why here 1, here it write x. And the output is 1 plus x. See, here if it is you have 1, then you have to write the input is 1 only. Only one variable, that is why 0 and here 1. Zero, 1 plus 0, output become 1. Plus operator we have, if any one of the input is true, output become true. 1 plus 1, output become 1. It means that it is same as your 1 value as well as 1 plus x value. See the equation? 1 plus x value, it is nothing but 1 only. Both the values are same here. This is the symbol and this is the truth table. Now, for the given expression, 1 plus x equals 1. For this one, you have to solve with perfect induction method. Put x equals 1. And another time put x equals 0 and then you have to solve. This is the given expression. Now, 1 plus for the x place you have to substitute 1. 1 equals 1. 1 plus 1, do not write 2 because 1 plus 1 in generally in decimal format it is 2. But in binary 1 plus 1 is nothing but 1 only. 1 equals 1 that is right hand side value equals left hand side value. Next, same pattern, put for the x place 0, 1 plus 0 equals 1. Now, 1 plus 1 is nothing but 1 equals 1. Both right hand side value equals to left hand side value. Right hand side value equals left hand side value. See, symbol, truth table and solve that by using perfect induction method. What do you mean by perfect induction method? Substitute 0 one time and then 1 for the given expression and then solve. That is nothing but perfect induction method. This is law of addition. Only two law of additions we have. One is 0 plus x and one more is 1 plus x. Next, I am going to explain law of multiplication. Law of multiplication, especially for properties of zeros and 1. On this also, we had two properties. The first one is 0 into x is nothing but 0 and the second one, 1 into x is nothing but x. Two properties are there in law of multiplication. Law of multiplication is here. Whereas in the previous case, we explained law of addition. Addition means plus operator we have. Whereas law of multiplication means on this here we have dot operator. The first one is 0 dot x is nothing but 0 and the second one is 1 dot x is nothing but x here. 1 by 1 we will prove. 
here first one in the exam they want to give write or explain law of multiplication especially the properties of zeros and ones also they may go to ask now how to write here dot operator we have while writing the symbol first input is zero second input is x here dot we have then d shape here to write then output here will get zero this is the symbol then how to write the truth table same pattern here first one is zero and the second one is x output become zero dot x zero means all the inputs are zero only x only one variable zero and one zero into zero output become zero zero into one output become zero see this value is same as your x see the column zero equals to zero dot x now is it clear Wo zero dot x see zero zero here also zero zero this is a symbol and this is a truth table now we have to solve the expression zero dot x equals zero by using perfect induction method in perfect induction method put x equals zero one time and then put x equals one one time now for the given expression put x place zero zero into zero equals zero 0 into 0 is nothing but 0 only equals to 0. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Whereas for the second option, here on the place of x, you have to put 1. That's why 0 into 1 equals 0. Already you come to know into means dot. Dot means nothing but multiplication. In multiplication case, all the inputs are true, then only output become true. Here 1 is true and 1 more is false, then output become true. 0 equals 0. Right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now is it clear? This is the symbol, truth table and we are solving the expression by using algebraic method. This is the first one. Now we are going to explain the second one that is 1 into x is nothing but what is the second one? 1 into x is nothing but 1 only. 1 into x is nothing but 1 only. That also once again, we will prove that is 1 into x is nothing but 1. 1 into x is nothing but 1. But 1 into x is nothing but x here. 1 into x is nothing but x here. Now, how to write the symbol for this one? Here, 1 and 1 more is x. Here, dot operator means d shape. Output will get x only. This is the symbol. Now, truth table, how to write the truth table? 1 and then x, output become 1 dot x. 1 we have, it means that 1, 1 is the input. For x, only one variable. Then, here you have to write 0 and then 1. 1 into 0 is nothing but dot operator. Dot operator is nothing but all the inputs are true. Then only output become true here. 0, 1, it is nothing but x value equals to 1 into x. See, these two columns are same. Now, solve this by using perfect induction method. 1 into x is nothing but x. That's the expression. Now, put x equals 1 one time. Put x equals 0 one time. Now, for the given expression, we'll put x value 1. 1 into 1 equals 1. 1 into 1 is nothing but 1. That is equals to 1. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. First part it is completed. Now, for the x place put 0. Then 1 into 0 equals 0. 1 into 0 is nothing but 0 equals 0. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now, is it clear? These are the four properties of zeros and 1. First, we explained regarding addition. Under addition, we explained 1 plus x and the second one is 0 plus x and the properties of multiplication 1 dot x and the 0 dot x. These are the four properties we explained today. The remaining properties we will explain the next class. Before that, I am going to recall the things, whatever things on this chapter till now we explained. That is all the logical gates, their symbols, Venn diagram, truth table as well as the basic postulates. Postulates is nothing but the rules and regulation formulas which we have to follow. 
under that law of addition as well as law of multiplication. The remaining thing we will explain in the next class. Thank you for all of you.